All right, well now we're going to check out a demo of some of the fun features in Code Collaborator 6.0. Let's, well, let's actually start in an interesting place for, for a demo of a code review tool. Let's start in Microsoft Word. All right. Here we are. And we have this lovely document. And we would like to add this into a review that we have in Code Collaborator. So we come over here to our good friend, the print menu. And you'll notice I have a variety of different printer drivers installed, including one called print to review. All right. And so the whole idea behind this is, of course, very simple. We wanted to be able to, for any Windows app that can create paginated output, right, let's put something into that review. And so we'll just call this guy temp.doc just to keep us moving along here. And we'll put in a review title, and this time we'll do it correctly. Click on OK. There'll be a slight delay here while the printer driver runs and kind of does its thing. And then, this is what you're used to. If you've used Code Collaborator, we're going to take you right into the web UI so that you can finish creating the review. Right. So again, let's make it easy for, po for folks, folks, not pokes, for folks, to actually be able to come in and, and do things with paginated output from any Windows app. So if we come in here and we just look at this really quickly, um, just for the sort of fun of it, um, you'll notice that indeed we do have paginated output now. And real quickly, while we're here looking at a document, um, this is the same sort of thing that you would see in our um, PDF and our image file support as well. We added some zoom controls because, again, people were saying, hey, you know, I want to be able to really get up close and personal. Yeah. Okay. Be, be, I mean, while we have a document here, you might also have images and other things. Exactly. Or schematics like we were talking about earlier. Anything that you can print from a Windows app, you can now put into the review. And now let's switch over to our friend Visual Studio. And again, as I mentioned during the, uh, the opening discussion, what we've done in Visual Studio is you know, again, we can't give you the full-blown effect like we can now in Eclipse of being able to do a review, but we did want to at least allow you to easily add materials to a review. So over here in the Solution Explorer, we've added a couple of context menu entries for our application. And if you want to, for example, in Team Foundation Server, which I happen to be configured to be using right now, um, we support other version control tools as well from within Visual Studio. But if I wanted to go in here and say, oh, okay, well, let's, um, let's, let's create a new review. And what I really want to do is I want to add a shelf set from Visual Studio into that review. So I put in the name of my shelf set, add that guy there, click on Finish. And so, again, very straightforward stuff here. We take you then into our browser-based UI, just like you're used to using. And when you come down in here, and take a look at this. You can see now, in this case, again, we're using Team Foundation Server, but it could be ClearCase or whatever. Um, and when you look at files, you know, again, this would be what you would expect out of a shelf set. Correct me if I'm wrong, but on, on, you, you guys are uh, Code Collaborators working on the back end of TFS to figure out all the, oh, yeah. the, yeah, the, yeah. the server-side stuff that brings us up. So there's, there's, a, lot of, there's a lot of whirring gears going on. There are whirring gears, the shelf around whirring the gears so that you don't have to worry about that. You just tell us what you want reviewed. We'll go figure out what that means within the context of your right. version control tool. And one thing that I would say about this is, yes, it's true, now we're out in the browser UI. Um, but the reality is, you know, within Visual Studio, there's actually a pretty good browser capability built in. Um, modulo the fact that it is IE behind the scenes, right? It sort of depends upon how you feel about IE, right? But, um, but again, you could go ahead and open up another tab within Visual Studio if you so desired and just, you know, sort of stay within there. And of course, again, we're not going to be able to give you native controls, but nevertheless. Right. And, and you were telling me earlier that more Visual Studio integration is like the number one requested feature you guys have at the moment, right? We, we do have a lot of users who would like to see not only what I just showed you, right, who've been chomping at the bit to get at least that, and we'll deliver that here in, in this 6.0 release, but they want more. And so now toward that end, the next thing I want to show you is we've switched over to the, I guess the Visual Studio development team would call this the evil twin of Visual Studio in the Java world, <laughs> right? Um, this is the Eclipse IDE. This is version 3.5, but it'll work with 3.4 and 3.3 as well. And the idea again, let's take the review experience and move it into the IDE. So beyond just being able to create a review or add materials to a review, for those of you who are familiar with the product, you know, this is the information that you would see in our browser UI, right? We've got the, the general info, we've got the list of participants, we've got the defect log, 
And one of the things that's interesting about this is, you know, we're taking advantage of some SWT JFACE goodness here that we really just get for free. So the, the ability, for example, to expand and collapse sections within this review summary screen. Right. We don't have that in our browser UI. Right, right. right. We're going to add it eventually, I promise, someday, right? But, but so it's interesting because it's a slightly different user experience. And in some ways it's better, and in some ways it's not as good. But and let's, it, I mean, it, it seems like you're trying to make it a native Eclipse experience, right? Exactly. Instead of foisting your own sort of look and feel on it, you're trying to go with what exactly. people would expect. Exactly. And so that's why, for example, when I'm looking at files here within a review and I double click an entry, then you'll notice we use the native Eclipse diff tool. And we've got some interesting things that we can actually do here. Just like in our browser UI, where you can control exactly which two revisions of a file you're looking at in terms of you know, what are we comparing um, one to the other, you can do that here as well, right? So that we can show you, right? What's on the, you can control exactly what's on the left and what's on the right. And notice that you can even pick to do the local file. And that brings about an interesting change to the Eclipse diff viewer. Mm -hmm. This has nothing to do with us. Again, we're just riding on top of the native Eclipse goodness here. When we now come down in here into this code, you'll notice that this guy now, that's the actual native editor mm, right. where the background Eclipsey magic, okay, to, to parse and then compile the code and, and understand it so that I can, you know, navigate through the hyperlinks and all that other kind of good stuff. It's now on. It's now turned on and because then, and it's a also, local version of the file. Also, if you wanted to start editing this, in, you can just open up the Eclipse editing window without. Correct. It's it's a little less jarring than uh, if you were going from the web interface back to Eclipse. And so again, this is an example of something that we literally cannot do in the browser-based UI. Right. Right. And the and another one of the advantages again of being able to bring the review experience into where does the developer live. And so one of the things I wanted to show you really quickly. Um, again, going back to that idea of red meat features, is when I come in here and I add, you know, some sort of a defect via um, the browser-based user interface now, right, which is, you know, something here is wrong and we specify a type and severity as always, you'll notice that we now have a slightly different display here. This is, again, something that people have asked for for a long time. I'm scrolling through this UI and I'm looking at lots of conversations. I want those defects to pop out and be easy for me to right. see. And another sort of a red meat type issue, I come in here and I put in a comment and I actually write the wrong thing. And after I have submitted the comment, I realize, oh, that's not really what I want to say. It's actually the right thing. Right. <laughs> and, and so now what I have is this handy little X that allows me to redact that comment. So that when I click the X, it really becomes very hard to see. We don't, again, we, we, we can't make it go away completely, but we make it very obvious that the other participants in the review don't need to worry about reading through that stuff. And so then, final area um, that, that uh, I mentioned um, as one of the sort of, a, a, sort of a red meat kind of a thing, if we look at reporting. Yeah, the micromanaging. Well, it's not micromanaging. You always use that negative spin. Okay? That's how you put self in front of it. I think it's exciting. It's self-reporting. <laughs> uh, so here's the user reports. Right? And, and so, again, we've got this set of user reports, and I can see a detailed report for myself. And I can control things like, okay, what period of time do I want in that report? And now I can see very quickly here, what did I do during that period of time? Right. So again, the focus not on the review as the primary key, not on the defects that were found, but instead on this particular user. And then of course we've got them that go across users, you know, the whole bit. What is the, what's the upgrade process for it? Like what, who, who's, who, it's, who can get it and how does it work? It's painless, it's painless. If, if you purchase Code Collaborator, you get the first year of maintenance and upgrades included in the price. Right. And then on an annual basis after that, if you are interested in upgrades and support, then you pay a maintenance fee, and that gives you access to 
Code Collaborator. If you are not currently a customer, well then you're certainly welcome to go download a free 30-day trial from our website. Well, great. Well, was, was there any other uh, stuff you wanted to show us? I think that's, again, the key things that we want to take a look at for 6.0. All right. Well, thanks. Well, I appreciate you spending all that time to show it to us. That Thank you, Mr. Kotek.